Hi guys, welcome to Cougar Fit, and for today's subject is the abs. And today I want to talk about three ab mistakes that you might be making. First is not actually working the abs. Second, not training for strength in the abs. And third, going too fast while training the abs. And I'm going to explain each of these in depth. All right, for our first mistake, not actually working the abs. As a trainer in the gym, I see it all the time. People are going just through the motions with their abs, and I can tell by looking at them that they're not even feeling what they're training, which is their abs. And these are the three, three main reason, reasons. There's probably many more, but these are the three. They're not getting their hips up, okay? They're not getting their shoulders up, and they're not keeping their back flat. And I'm going to show you what I mean. All right, and the second mistake, not training for strength. Like it or not, the abs are a muscle group, just like any other body. And if you want to get the most out of them and also have the best looking abs, you need to train to get them stronger. And there's two ways to do that, just to keep it simple. And the first way is to add resistance. One of my favorite things to do is while I do sit-ups, I like to get a cable and grab it back here and then use that to add resistance because I can knock out sit-ups so easily I don't get anything out of it unless I add resistance. And the second way is harder movements. You don't always have to add weight to your abs. You can do a harder movement. So once you get good at say a lying leg raise, you can jump up on the pull-up bar and start working on doing hanging leg raises which are 10 times harder. And I'm going to show you some examples of that now.
All right, and our third ab mistake that you might be making is going too fast. A lot of times in the gym, I see people trying to crank out 50 to 100 reps of crunches or even leg raises, but they're simply going too fast, and it actually breaks the first two tips I gave you. When you go too fast, you, mo you will not work the muscle as good as you can work it if you slow it, slowed it down and put a time under tension. Basically, time under tension is the amount of time that those muscles are being strained or under some kind of tension and the abs actually respond better to a very high amount of tension. And the second part about going too fast is it puts certain body parts in a vulnerable position. If I'm banging out crunches, what, I'm, what I really am doing and tend to do is just cranking on my neck, okay? And for somebody that has a past neck problem, that can be a very bad thing. And the second part about vulnerable positions is when I see somebody doing leg raises, they will throw their legs up and then let them fall back down. And what that's going to do is it's going to put the low back in a very, very vulnerable position, which is also a bad thing. And what I'm going to do is show you both of these things the right way and the wrong way. I'm going to work my abs too fast and then I'm going to show you the benefit of slowing them down. All right, guys, that concludes today's episode. Three mistake, ab mistakes you might be making. Hopefully not anymore. But not actually working the abs. We need to make sure we're working them. We need to train the abs for strength. And we need to slow our reps down while we're doing the abs.